Oh man, you can hear me? I think so, yeah. Nice. Ohio. <laughs> Check, 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 check. <laughs> Man, what hat can I wear? Very nice, Steven, 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 stop, please stop. Can we get a few words from you? Let's see, Steve. So, so how, how did you first learn to ride a bike? What? Where did you first learn to ride a bike? Uh, North Carolina. Yeah. My dad just set up track marks on the, on the street. Yes, yes, yes. How, how, old, how old were you? I was about six, I would suppose. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? So how much, how much training do you do oh. to get into the X Games? I've been to X Games. Is that uh, your goal? No. No, no, what's your goal? Turn pro. Turn pro, turn pro, alright. I should so be turned pro by... 2003? No. 1999. 99. Well, that's only in one short year. Yes. You think you'll be a pro by then? Yes. We'll have to stop in and check. Yeah, Here he goes, let's see your best move. Alright. Ready to do this? We got pretty lucky weather-wise. It was dry almost every day but today. And we got some snow. That's my daughter's daycare right there. And now this is my work. <coughs> Took the week off. I don't know what about one specific moment that just started. It. Just little moments that kind of like added up to like something that I was having fun and I thought I was pretty good at it. I, I remember on that tape, I was like, I thought I'd be pro by like 1999. I filmed a video in high school for like my senior project for like a media class. Inception, and I had a part in that. And then right after that, we did Day Late Dollar Short. My part got recognized like on Road Fools, like uh, a lot of people like Rick Molinterno, Dave Mira, learning all these like. Uh, Pegless stuff from like Jim Selinski and Garrett Burns. We kind of like tried to take that to a, to a new level. Yeah, we had our own thing going. It was cool. It was real exciting. Oh yeah, then the Kurt Walrad came. That was like that was huge for me. Just looks so cool how you can stick to the wall, so we're always looking for one. And then lo and behold, like right across the street from my my dorm, we found like the one that ended up being like the perfect one. The opera to regular spin out was like 
Once I came up with that, it was like probably the, it's definitely the best doing thing I had ever done. Stephen Hamilton, road food. Uh, my name is Stephen Hamilton, 20 years old. This is my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. Come on my face, I'm like mace. Does I back them off with the quills? Does I have to tell you, nigga, cause I keep it under frills. Rest of one nine one one sixteen Ave off of Farmer Boulevard, yeah, Boulevard, Boulevard. But I'm from Manhattan, MCA's from Brooklyn, yeah, MCA. You should be cooking. Yeah. Rain Mantis on the court, and I can't be beat with your tip. What's the set with your boots on your feet? Got the timbers on the toes, and this is how it goes. So, one, two, oh my god. We got snowboarding. Volcom, skateboarding, and BMX, ET. You get the ET? I needed time to realize my crime. It was. My first hookup was this shop called Crank for like daily and dollar short. Yeah, Animal. I started getting hooked up from Animal. That was real big. At the Ghetto Street. Ian Morris asked me if I wanted to ride for Federal. And then after that, we started filming stuff for and putting in Can I Eat. And like uh, Day Is Over came out at about the same time. It was cool because like I don't know, it was kind of just like random stuff. Like I remember I was like studying for a test in like the student union. I saw like my buddies riding the tree ride go blast the tree just to kind of like relax for a little bit. But like, yeah, the like Can I Eat was like pretty real big and then Trafalia was real big too. Yeah, first time going overseas. Yeah, it was real cool, like, seeing England, and then, oh, I didn't even plan on going to Czech Republic, but ended up going there, and then Germany tour. Went to Japan, too, for that video. Yeah, it was like the first, like, worldwide, like, video.
then I thought, then I had enough. I was like, all right, I need to just kind of like do my own thing for a while. Going on all these trips all the time, but I didn't really have time to like get my own life like kind of figured out. So. Yeah, I never stopped riding, but I did kind of stop like um, going on trips, like riding trips, and uh, like filming, like with like a, a real filmer. Just kind of like try to like come up with some new styles and like new ideas. Did like some self-film stuff, like with my a video camera. Back in the day, man, I was just drinking too much, so life is not easy. You gotta go through rough times to, to become what you wanna be, so you gotta experience the yin and the yang, the good and the bad, so five or six years ago, I just kinda like, just tried to like get things more under control and just kinda like stay healthier. And time All along red line Quit drinking, partying all the time. It was hard work getting back, but riding well, feeling healthy, body feeling good, mentally feeling good. Too many good times, and it's time to time to have some better times. Let flow into your dreams. The big blue open sea. Yeah, had to get, I got like a job and then had to have a daughter, had a daughter, so it was real nice. But I still have fun riding, so I have fun time to ride. I don't know, I just feel lucky like being able to ride. Like, I don't know what else I would do. Yeah, if you would have came five years ago, it might have been a little different.
spies Got telephones for eyes Come to you as friends All those endless Never 